Lesson 1.5, Model and Count to 5. In this lesson, we show 5 with counters in a 5 frame, and we trace the number 5 right and left-handed. Here we have a 5 frame. Here we have some counters, and here we have some boxes of popcorn. We can count the popcorn by putting a counter next to each box of popcorn. We have 1, 2, three, four, and five. We have five boxes of popcorn. We can put the counters into the five frame. One, two, three, four, five. All the spaces in the five frame are full. We have one, two, three, four, five counters. We have one, two, three, four, five boxes of popcorn. We had a counter for each box of popcorn. Here we have the number five. Here we have the word five. And we have some penguins. We can put a counter next to each penguin as we count them. We've got one, two, three, four, five penguins. We have a counter for each penguin. We can put the counters into the five frame. We've got one, two, three, four, oops, five, we filled the five frame. When the five frame is full, we know there are five. We don't even need to count them. There are one, two, three, four, five spaces in the five frame, and we have one, two, three, four, five counters. Whenever we see a five frame that's full, we don't need to count. We just know there are five. Here we have the number one. Here we have the word one. We have one loaf of bread. Two. This is the word two. We have one, two loaves of bread. Here's three. Here's the word three. And we have one, two, three loaves of bread. We have four. Here's the word four. We have one, two, three, four loaves of bread. We have the number five. Here's the word five. We have one, two, three, four, five loaves of bread. We can trace the number five with our finger. For the right hand students who write with this hand, like this, we start right here at the top at this dot. We come straight down to the middle line here and then we come around like that. Then we go back to where this dot is and we come across this way. Let's try it again. Start here, make a straight line to the middle dotted line here. I'm gonna come down and come around and then we're gonna go back to where we started and we're gonna come across here. For the left-handed students that write with their left hand like this, we're going to start at the same place. We're going to come down. We're going to go around. And then we're going to come over here and come back to where we started. Let's try it again. We start here. We come down. We go around. Then we come over here and pull back to our hand to where we started right there. Which five frame has five counters? We need to circle the five frame that has five counters. Do you remember what we learned about five counters in a five frame? When the five frame is full, we know there are five and we don't even need to count. Which five frame is full? 
If you said this one, you're right. This five frame is full. We know there are five counters there. Here we have one counter. We have the number one. We have the word one. Here we have one, two counters. Here we have the number two and the word two. Here we have three counters. One, two, three. We have the number three. We have the word three. Here we have one, two, three, four counters. We have the number four. We have the word four. Here we have one, two, three, four, five counters. We have the number five and we have the word five. One, two, three, four, five. Here we need to circle the groups of five. We can count them one, two, three, four, five. Yes, there's five red dots. That's a group of five. Let's count the blue ones. One, two, three, four. No, there's only four. Let's count the orange ones. One, two, three. No, that's not five. That's only three. Let's count these. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, there's five of these pink ones. We circled the groups of five. It doesn't matter how they're organized, there's still five. In our next lesson, 1.6, we're going to count and write the number and the word five. I hope you have a really great day, and I hope that you'll join me next time. Bye.